so hello there welcome back to the data channel and today we are going to be reviewing this product right here so this is actually a professional um tripod fluid head tripod actually um, that i got online king joy this is a professional photographic e equipment this tripod is actually very popular a lot of people use it it's the vt1500 as model name a lot of people use this tripod it's a fluid head tripod and it's suitable for small cameras for phones for you know slightly big cameras and a lot of people with mirrorless cameras basically use it so this is going to be an unboxing review and um, let's see what's inside this package so it comes in a carton and then opening up the carton we have this bag in which it is packaged the bag is um, sort of kind of like um, the usual polyester kind of thing that you have on bag with um, leather stripes on top of it uh, nothing too special there's the king joy branding on top of it and um, basically that's all the bag looks strong it's sturdy there's a sling which you can use to carry the bag and the material seems to be waterproof the material seems to be waterproof when you open up the bag you have the product and so the product is just wrapped in nylon no paddings no um sort of any protection or anything of that sort and so here's a tripod in its full glory so the tripod looks good um most of the parts uh, a mix of metal and um, hard plastic um, it feels good to the hand it looks and um, feel, doesn't feel cheap at all but then like I said it has plastic components So going to the specifics of the tripod itself so a fluid head tripod basically is a tripod that has this fluid mechanism within it that helps you to get these very smooth um very controlled shots you know pan and tilt shots and so you can see all these um buttons around it these um adjusters and you know, screws around it that you can actually use to get fine refined movement anytime you're shooting video and this is actually what differentiates it from the regular you know tripod that we have you know on the market this is what makes fleet head tripods stand out from the competition so talking about the um, tripod legs they are usually the regular tripod um, legs that we have for each of the um, legs it's very easy to you know pull out and pull in nothing special about them really and they have plastic parts which actually you use to hold the legs in place the legs themselves are actually metal but then the clips are plastic so here is the tripod uh, i'm going to open it up and let you see how it looks like when it's opened up it's about two to three meters long just when the legs are fully wide open so you can also extend it the more you can extend it from the um, tripod part um, to the fluid head that neck region can be extended a lot more and when it's fully extended you can extend it to about an additional one to one and a half meters and that will give it a total of about three to four meters when fully extended which is about you know almost as tall as my door talking about the head the platform on which you put your camera it has this wooden platform which you can open using the screw lock the lock mechanism which is a little bit you know a little bit more gimmicky than my former tripod i'll be comparing it with my former tripod and letting you see so it has a screw at the bottom which you can use to screw on your um camera or whatever device you want to screw on the platform it has this wooden feel on the top which is actually kind of um, sawdust wood which i think is for dissipating heat and also helps with some form of padding um, not so much in that area so 
So talking about the handlebars for controlling the tripod head, we have this long um, curved handlebar which is actually metal, a combination of metal and then a rubberized handle at the end of the um, tripod. And looking a bit more closer we have tension adjusters we have the pan tension adjuster here and on the side we have the tilt tension adjuster so like i said earlier this is a uh, fluid uh, tripod head and this means that it has some sort of fluid in the head mechanism that helps it to make fine refined adjustments when we are moving left to right or moving up and down and so these tension adjusters actually help with fine adjustments in you know the movement of the head from left to right for the pan tension adjuster which i'm adjusting right here so it helps you to get you know fine control so it affects what 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 you can call the stiffness of the neck so the more you tighten it the more it's sort of stiff the more you're losing it the less it's stiff and so on the left we have the tilt tension adjuster that helps with up down movement helps um, to refine the up down movement to make fine adjustments in the up down movement in the same way you can adjust you know um, to make it stiffer or to make it less stiffer this really helps when you know doing pan and tilt movements for videography when you're trying to you know get that cinematic look and that cinematic feel that helps you get you know the kind of shots that you want to get especially when you're using a very big camera on top of this rig it really helps a lot so you can adjust the two at the same time to get you know a very good feel of what you want to do maybe you want to do both a pan and tilt at the same time you can adjust you can do fine adjustments we also have the screws on the sides which actually help with coarse adjustment in um, the pan or the tilt we have that for the tilt you see that um, if i lock it i can't have any movement at all so this one actually helps it kind of opens up the whole thing or locks the whole thing so it helps with coarse adjustment you know if you want to lock your head your tripod head in position you can use the screws if you want to also make very very large you know um adjustment in the um, pan or tilt you can use the coarse adjustment now this is my former tripod head which i was using this is like the regular tripod head you know mobile videographers use you know people who have small cameras and stuff like that use it's very common um the differences between that and you know the new tripod are not so much the architecture is um most for most part is almost the same but then there are some subtle differences which actually make a lot of difference when comparing these two tripod heads so this former one is not actually it's not a free tripod head of course it's just a basic tripod with um, you know screws all over the place and the first thing is the um head the platform on which you put your device it's a lot different it's easier to use it's just kind of like a sliding slide out compared to the king joy uh, vt 1500 which actually needs some you know pushing push out and you know lock before you can get out the um, platform on which you put on your device and that's also difference with the, with the fact that you know my final tripod has a spirit level which helps you in balancing and then looking at the tripod heads themselves they're a lot different there are no graduations on this tripod head why there are graduations on the fluid tripod head also the um my former tripod is a lot more bulky it also has a split level on the um, point where the tripods go downwards. Um, they actually both do have a split level at you know that point. They both have a um, screw which you can use to extend upwards from the point of the tripods. But then, by and large, the differences are not so much. Another thing will be the hook which we have below my former tripod. We, we can use a weight. On and that can help you with you know balancing the tripod especially when you are carrying larger payloads but you know this King Joy um, tripod doesn't have that another big difference will be in the metal you know um, supports that my former tripod has but then 
this tripod the king george tripod has plastic supports which is actually a bummer the um, legs are not so much of a difference the rubber ends on the tripod legs are pretty much the same the clips which you use to hold the tripods are also pretty much the same um, the, uh, they are all plastic so we actually do have a lot more plastic parts though they are hard plastic on the king joy vt 1500 compared to my former tripod uh, which has you know uh, probably some more metal parts then talking about the handlebar for the tripod that there's a big difference between the two we have fully plastic on my former tripod compared to the uh, fully metal on the king joy and also has like a um, rubber handle kind of soft touch material handle you know which actually helps you with, with better handling and better control so what do you think about the two tripods basically what do you think that the king joy vt 1500 you know is a lot 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 better than the regular tripod um in this case my wayfang wt 3560 do you think a fluid head tripod really has so much of um, advantage over you know the regular tripod that you know majority of vloggers videographers use and what do you think about the two um you can let me know in the comments you can also ask if you have any questions i bought the king joy um vt 1500 for about twenty one thousand um at a physical store and i bought the wayfang wt 3560 I bought it for about 12,000 so you can see the difference in both um, products um, you can let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below I can also put links to where you can get this product online and so without further ado I'll catch you in the next video